So in today's video tutorial, we're going to see how to create uh, different types of media albums. So photo albums, if I want to share photos, music albums, if I want to share music, video albums, if I want to share videos, or even to mix and match and create what we call heterogeneous media albums, which is really just a fancy way of saying mixed media albums that you can share with your friends. So here we are at the My Account uh, home screen, which you'd all be familiar with. We can see here my account information, the systems I've got backed up, and all the different content types that uh, are included in my backup set. So for this, I'm going to uh, go into Pictures. Well, actually, let's go back and view it from a folder structure. So I'm going to go Online Recovery up to Recover. You can see my computer. I'm going to click into C Drive, Drill Down, and uh, here I've got my Sample Pictures folder, which got a bunch of uh, pictures here in it. So first thing we're going to look at doing is sharing an individual file. So I'm going to share this uh, this file here called desert.jpg. So click on share. I'm going to name the share. First thing I'm going to do is share it to uh, an email address. So I'm over here in my in my Gmail account. You can see I've got an email that where uh, Ken at SOSOnlineBackup.com shared a file with me and I can click here to preview the file or I can download the file. Let's look at the preview. Here's the file. I'm going to view that file and there's uh, here's the picture that I got shared. Now this is important to note. I'm viewing this share from my Gmail account and that could be any email account. You notice I didn't need any credentials to log in. So this is a public share. In other words I can share this file with my friends via email and they don't need a login account to, uh, to access that file. So what if I want to share an entire folder and create a photo album for uh, a trip I took, for example? Well, let's go ahead and share this entire photo album. Use my Gmail again. And again, this is anybody's email address. I'm just using my Gmail for ease of demonstration. So that's now sharing that folder. It can take a couple of seconds when, uh, when you're sharing more than just an individual file. So you can see here it's dropped me into my Manage Shares view now that it's successfully finished sharing that, that folder. Across in my Gmail, you can see now that it says that uh, Ken has shared a folder with me. So now I can do a few things. Firstly, I can preview the folder, or I could just download the entire folder. So let's, let's uh, download the entire folder first. All right, we can see Chrome's finished downloading that file, and it comes down as just a zip file, so pretty much anybody can open that pretty easily. And I open it up, and there's there's that entire folder that I shared, including all the subfolders. Now, back in my Gmail, I want to show you a, a really cool feature, and this is actually the ability for the sharee, or the person you're sharing with, to be able to view this file without um, without needing to download it. So creating truly public shares in the cloud so that I can share my photo albums and my video albums and my music albums. All right. Now again, this is the view I get if I'm the sharee. So I've just clicked across from my Gmail, no login because I've created a public folder. And uh, look at that. So we've got an immediate preview of all those different f those photos I took on my trip that I wanted that my friend shared with me. I, I'm sharing with myself here, but uh, and uh, you know I can view those those images. Or what's even cooler is that it shared the music folder. So I've actually created a a mixed media album here which includes uh, a variety of I've got some MP3s. Uh, we'll pause that. We've got some MP3s in here and some videos and some uh, and some images. So that's how easy it is to create a public share in the cloud and it can be a mixed media album or you can just create a photo album, a music album, or a movie album. So that's how easy it is to uh, share images, photos, music, video with your friends, create public shares, create photo albums, music albums, and uh, that's really what we're all about here at SOS, helping you to protect, access, share, and manage your data in new and easy and affordable ways. So uh, scoot on over to our help website to look at other how-to videos we've got, or check out the SOS website and download a free trial. Thanks for your time.